Hey, we get asked this question a lot. Do we have a hit list of plugins that we like to use on our website, on our clients? And of course we do. And we're gonna run through this right now. Now, please understand, this is what I like to use. There's hundreds of thousands of other plugins out there for your WordPress website. You go with what works best for you or what you're trying to achieve. And even though I am gonna focus on a particular plugin, right at the start, you can use this for many other page builders, okay? It is WordPress plugins we're looking at. So we're gonna split this into our essential and our desirables list. Now straight away for our essentials, we're gonna talk about our preferred page builder. Of course, it's Elementor. We love using it just because it's versatility and you don't have to understand CSS or JavaScripting to use it. It's great if you know how to do that stuff, but as a drag and drop page builder, over 10 million active installations worldwide, it is a powerhouse. We love it, okay? Now, Elemental Free is free. Elemental Pro is $49 a year, but let me tell you now, rather than you having to install lots of additional Elemental add-ons, top of your Elemental Free, it's far better for you to get Elemental Pro because it's less of a headache and it just keeps your website nice and clean, okay? So Elemental Pro, you do have to pay for, but it's a great page builder. But you also need to start thinking about optimization as well for your website. And um, Elemental has improved um, over time to be less bloated in terms of how it operates. And if you're very careful how you build your website, it's very good. I mean, in fact, it's not just good, it's great. It's fantastic on your page speed insights. However, Optimization plugins should not be ignored. Now, you, I prefer to use WP Fastest Cache. You could use Lightspeed Cache as well. There's loads of caching optimization plugins out there. So go with what you wanna go with. But WP Fastest Cache works really well for me, so I like to use that. And it's free. Lightspeed Cache is free as well. Now, Autoptimize is free as well. There's a premium version, but I just use the free. You could use WP Rocket, Perf Matters, loads of other um, Serifinite accelerators as well. There's loads of optimization plugins, but all to optimize is free and it works. You know, uh, out the bag, it's super, super good at sorting out your JS, your CSS, um, removing Google fonts, um, just basic optimization. And I really like it. Without it, it could drop my page speed score by 30, 40%. So I find it super, super helps and it's a great thing to use. I thoroughly recommend it. And we've got videos on page speed uh, 2022 on how to get your page to be really, really high scoring. So go and watch that if you wanna understand the settings. Now, where would we be without Mr. Singh's duplicate page um, uh, plugin? Now this one is a super cool one, okay? Let's say you create a post or a page in a certain format and a certain style, and then you want to create another page. You could start completely from scratch, or you could export or create loads of templates and then re-import them again. Or quite simply, duplicate page just allows you to literally duplicate the page. You can even duplicate a post. You can even duplicate a template. There's so much duplication you can do with this. And I like to work with the perfect section, with the perfect container, and then I work on the perfect page responsively, page speed insights, all of that. And when I know the page is solid and really, really good, I then duplicate it and modify it because I know it already contains a lot of the good and hard work I've done. Duplicate page is free, okay? Just to reiterate, Elemental Pro you gotta pay for, but every other plugin on that page at the moment is free, so I thoroughly recommend you use it because what have you got to lose there? Now, in terms of security, um, there's two options that stand out for me um, above all else. It's WordFence and all-in-one WP security. Now, what I will say about WordFence, though, is in recent times, if you're running PageSpeed Insights, sometimes PageSpeed Insights won't work very well because WordFence thinks you're being hacked, so it's, it doesn't allow it to run its testing, which is a bit annoying. You can IP address whitelist it, but it's a little bit annoying that happens. But all-in-one WP security is just as good and it's free. WordFence, you do have a premium version as well. But I know so many people that just run those one of those two and they're absolutely fine. Now, do check with your host provider as well because they might already provide lots of top-notch security for your website in terms of, you know, um, log the amount of logins you have, malware, protecting your website, securing things down. So just double check what they give you. And if you need to have extra, you can go for it. But these two, 
you can use for free and they work really, really well. Now, this one isn't as, for me, it's an essential. For you, it might be a desirable. So this is a little bit of a gray one, okay? It's code snippets. You can remove your Google fonts using code snippets. You can do additional things to your website, jump, adding in a bit of JavaScript in a safe, secure way using code snippets. And the great thing about it is that if you put incorrect code, it warns you and it stops it running. It is so good in what it does here. So it stops your website breaking. But the crucial, crucial thing is that I don't like using child themes. Loads of you out there are gonna go, what, throw a shoe at the screen right now. I don't like doing child themes, mainly because if I've got a theme and say Elemental updates and say the theme updates, cause I like to use hello. If I've gone and used a child theme, I've probably now got to create a copy of the new updated theme with another child theme to make sure things are in sync and everything's working really well. You know, WordPress updates, Elemental updates, hello updates. You got a child theme, that child theme is probably out of date now. So you got to do a bit of work. With code snippets, I never need to do a child theme. I can make changes to my theme, but it all sits in code snippet. And whenever my hello theme updates, that code snippet will always run as well if it is safe to run. But you can use it for other things as well. Say you got a WooCommerce shop and you want to change the names of your WooCommerce checkout fields, or you want to remove or add something or some animation or whatever. This is a super good way to do it and it is free, okay? Again, Code Snippets is free and I definitely recommend you do this. And then we move on to our site engine optimization. There's, you know, all in one SEO, there's Yoast, there's loads of SEO tools out there, but Rank Math. Okay, when it came on the scene a couple of years ago, it blew them out of the water. It is so easy to use and it's integrated within Elemental. It is so brilliantly easy to use. There is a pro version, but I just use the free version and I've got a video on that as well. Go and look at the settings, work through it, help yourself out. But overall, and I've highlighted now in red the ones I tend to go for, okay, and there's eight there. Brand new website, whether it's my own or a client, they are the eight plugins you will see. If I definitely don't need code snippets, I'll take it off. So it might go down to seven, but you're definitely going to have seven or eight, basically. I'm kind of contradicting myself. So definitely seven or eight. No, it'll definitely be seven. But then if I want code snippets, we go up to eight. Does that, is that clear for you, right? They are the core essentials. Now, I know some people, they'll have more than that. And when I look at their plugins, I kind of go, do you really need to have all of that? And I bet right now you're shouting at the screen, and you're saying, hold on, you haven't got any image um, optimization plugin, you know, and I, you could name Smush, you know, Imaginify, Optimal, whatever, you could name loads of them. And there's a reason I don't have any optimization plugins anymore. I used to, but not anymore, because now I use bulkresizephotos.com. Okay, it's free. It is a disgustingly powerful website. I cannot believe how brilliant it is, okay? I used to use tinyPNG or compressedjpeg.com, okay? But you could only do 20 images at any one time if you're doing it via the website. I did 86 images on bulkresizephotos.com and someone else I know did 350 in one go. You just drag them all in and it converts them into WebP like so quick, it's scary and it downloads it for you. So all you gotta do now is just shove it into your media library and then you can crop and scale it to your heart's content over there. But rather than me having one or two extra plugins on my WordPress, you know, one that converts say a PNG to a JPEG, and then another one that converts them into a WebP. And when you're using a plugin, they're not always the fastest or the quickest or most broadest way of doing it. Sometimes they'll fall over and they go, oh, we couldn't properly do this one. You do it through bulkresizephotos.com, which is totally free. You don't even get bombarded with adverts or nothing. I just don't get how they do it. They, I mean, I, I would pay to use it. That's how good they are. Um, but it's one less plugin, okay? Now we're gonna move on to our desirables list, okay? So just to back, re backtrack, okay? They're the essentials and now we're going on to our desirables. Now, if your website is gonna be e-commerce, obviously you're gonna have WooCommerce. And I've got quite a list of theirs. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. 
Potentially, I could have six extra plugins. Not all of them, but potentially. WooCommerce, well, without doubt, right? Because it's so brilliantly good to use. Now, if you do decide you're gonna have pay via PayPal, you'll have the PayPal payments um, add-on as well for WooCommerce, which is free. You know, and by the way, you know, remember WooCommerce is free. The WooCommerce PayPal payments is free. The WooCommerce payments, which is practically Stripe, don't know why they, do, they don't just call it that, that is free as well. So if you needed to have that, you would have Stripe and PayPal both on there as well. Or you might just have PayPal. Depends between you and your client and basically what your business wants. If you wanna have some much funkier product filtering by categories and tags and attributes and colors and sizes and shapes and whatever with images and galore, the Themeify product filter. When people see this, they go, yeah, but I use Hello Theme. No, no, it's not a theme, it's a plugin. It is super good, okay, believe me, you can have a horizontal filter, a vertical filter with images, with colors, with wording, with drop downs, radio bars, check boxes, whatever you want to do. It is really good and is so much better than what you get currently with WooCommerce. I'm sure that will change in the future. Themeify product filter is free. Then we have flexible shipping. Now, if you've got an option whereby you saying to the customer that there's a shipping fee of say $5 per item or total $5, but then you also say, if you spend over $20, you get free shipping, or if your item weighs a certain amount, the cost changes as well. Or maybe you have a diff different shipping amount for different countries, but it's also based on the weight or the cost and stuff like that. It can get quite messy with the standard WooCommerce settings. In fact, it's a little bit difficult. And what's even more annoying is that when you go to checkout or cart, it might show both options. So even though you've qualified for the free shipping because you're now over $20 is in your cart, it will still show that it was $5, but you don't get charged that. But it's annoying because you don't want to see it. Flexible shipping plugin is free. We did a video on that as well. Go and search for it. Flexible shipping. You can't miss it. Um, it's free and it allows you to define when should different um, shipping prices kick in whether it's free or you pay a price depending on country, weight, or your total cart, total basically. It's free and it is super good. And what's so good about it is that it will only show you the shipping item that relates to that product when a particular rule has been met. So you don't get like a do double or triplication of different um, shipping options being shown when in fact only one of them is being applied. Believe me, you don't want to be confusing your your clients or your customers when you get to the checkout or cart bit. You want to, them to quickly make that sale and go through. Now, if you really want to do some full-blown customization of your cart, your checkout, and your account page, then I recommend Shop Engine. There is a premium version, but the free version is fine for you to do so much with customizing your cart and checkout. Now, you can do a lot with Elementor as well, because they've got the widgets in there for cart and checkout. However, if you really want to go to town on it and you really want to um, do the account page as well and other stuff, the shop engine is really good. It also allows you to expand on the shop uh, template and the single product template as well. So if you want to take things further, shop engine is a great plugin. Now, all of those plugins are free. Okay, so far the only one I'm telling you you definitely got to pay for is Elemental Pro. Some of these do have premium versions, but I'm telling you now, you don't need to go for the premium versions. These are totally, totally fine. And look, let's say, um, I mentioned at the start, the night about Elemental, like you don't need to understand CSS. But what if you want to do some like really funky or styling or just something different to a widget? and you just don't know how to write the code. Custom, sorry, not custom CSS, Site Origin CSS, which is free, again, you can install that. You don't have to keep it on your machine. You can install it, use it, and get rid of it if you want. But you can install it. You can go to your page or wherever that widget is, mess around with the look of it, its positioning even. You know, I've used it so many times in the videos I create where I've messed around with it, and it helps to write the CSS, it tells you what the CSS is, it gives it to you. 
then you can stick it where you want or use it as is. And you learn from it and it is so good. So you've got a widget and there's no color option for that widget, but you really want to change the color or the font. You really, really want to, but the option's not there in styling. You could do it in site origin CSS. It will give you the code. And not only will you now be able to do what you want, you can now take that code and learn from it. You will learn how to write CSS with it as well. And it is super versatile and super good. Now we're gonna move on to a bit more of an expansive list. Now there is one item on here that is missing and I'm gonna mention it now. If you're doing a membership website, okay, I felt like an LMS website, there's loads of plugins out there. A lot of them you do have to pay for if you wanna get more than basic, basic features. I really, really, really recommend Paid Membership Pro. Paid Membership Pro is free. There's a premium version, but the free is totally awesome. You can, you can basically enable different memberships for courses, for products, whatever you want. There can be free options, a monthly option, like a recurring payment, even a one-off payment. You can mix it up. You can have as many different membership styles as you want. The other great thing is that once you've enabled it, you can then lock a page, a post, sections, columns, widgets. You can have a page, you can literally have an accordion that people can't open because that accordion is locked by Paid Membership Pro and you can only access it if you have a certain type of membership. You might have free membership, bronze, silver, gold, premium, whatever like that. It's free. So we use it for our mastery membership website or if we're, uh, we've got a course or whatever. So you have to pay for it before you can access the content. It's good. It's free. I, I, I cannot believe how much it gives you for free. Right, back onto the list now. Now, blogs. When I'm doing a blog, I just use Elementor Pro. I don't need to use this plugin I'm talking about now, but I'm going to mention it because if you're trying to be a little bit more funkier in how you're showing off your, um, like your post archive or something like that in the way it's laid out, you don't want to use like the card or the full or whatever uh, layouts you have at the moment and you want to do something a bit more funkier and different, the Elemental Custom Skin is like the most well-known additional plugin to use, and I would recommend you use that. I would always say start off with just um, what Elemental Pro give you, and if you want to go further, definitely consider this. Again, it's free. Now for directories, this is where you might be sh um, creating a website for real estate, uh, maybe you're showing off um, uh, available rental places, locations, maybe it's a, a directory for um, hairdressers, um, pet walk, pet walkers, dog walkers, pet groomers, um, car rentals, um, tutors, academic tutors, for instance, um, personal trainers, web designers, whatever you want. The My Listing plugin is $59, but it is worth its weight in gold. You know, it gives you the ability to have maps where you can list, have listings on there, the search options, the, the way that people can register. They can pay for a package and then they, once they've paid for it, they will then have access to basically um, to add their um, listing. You get to approve it before it's revealed. You can even have different types of applicants. So maybe you've got like people that want to advertise their product or service. And then you might have someone who just wants to have a search, but they might need to register before they can search, or it's free to search. They don't need to register. We've used this so many times, and we've got videos on it. Do a search for my listing, okay? $59, but I'm telling you now, if you're after a directory website and there are loads of options out there, I tested over 11 about a year and a half ago, okay? And I went through a grueling stage of testing my listing won every single time. I try to find a reason not to use it. It's great, okay? I definitely recommend you use that for a directory. If you're doing a social feed, like Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, even YouTube, or you've got reviews like Google, Trustpilot, um, and on other areas as well, the WP Social Ninja, which is free, handles so much of that. Not only that, it also gives you a messenger bot. So when people click into there and they start to put a question on your website, 
you'll see that when you're out and about on your Facebook Messenger or whatever, you'll see that. You can answer it, you can respond straight away. Okay, you get all of that for free. The premium version allows you to add in the Google reviews and Trustpilot and loads of others as well. However, um, the free version, the fact it allows you to bring forward or through a Facebook feed from your page or a group, Instagram, right? So Facebook page or a group, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, you can have your YouTube channel with your latest videos and everything, and you get a messenger bot for free. Is just mind-blowing. You want the other stuff, you have to pay for it. But I'm telling you, if you're wor- if you just want to get stuff fed in, because there are individual plugins out there. I used to have an individual plugin I used for Instagram and a separate one for Facebook, and then a separate one for a messenger bot. Hold on, we've just streamlined them all into one plugin. And I hope you've noticed that even though I've got six on there for WooCommerce and stuff, well, e-commerce, all of this extra stuff, you'd only use it if you really wanted it. If you weren't bothered about flexible shipping, you wouldn't have it. If you weren't worried about the product filter, you wouldn't have it. Same with Shop Engine, right? You might not need the Stripe. You might just have WooCommerce and WooCommerce PayPal, for instance. Only use what you need. Right, the very last one I want to talk about is your backups. Always check with your hosting provider. Because some hosting providers already provide a daily full-blown backup. And it's not just a backup of part of the website. It's the entire database, everything, okay? Just like if you were doing an all-in-one migration, the entire website in the palm of your hands, right? Check with your hosting provider because they might already have something set up. But it doesn't hurt to also consider Updraft Plus. There is a premium version, but unless you want to uh, back up your website every hour, the free version, which will download your backup of your basically your website to Google or Dropbox or wherever you want to put it, is so good. And I would recommend that as well as another backup feature. So don't always just rely on your hosting platform. You can do, but don't always just rely on it. Make sure they are very robust in what they do. And in fact, ask them, what happens if your server goes down? Do you have a backup of a backup? Updraft Plus, the free version, is totally okay to use. So on this list, okay, the only one, some of them do, some of these do have premium features, but you can use the free for all of these. The only one you've got to pay for is my listing. So, so far, I've only really told you about two that you would definitely have to pay for, Elementor Pro and my listing, but only if you're doing a directory website. That is why this is a desirable. Now, this one I've saved right to the end. Okay, this is asset cleanup. So this one, if you are now, okay, let me go back a step. If I only have the essentials, I probably won't put on asset cleanup. I can get away with not using it. However, if I've got WooCommerce or my listing or any of these other ones active, I will use asset cleanup. What does that do? It basically reduces bloat. Look, the description tells you that. I've got a website, I've got a homepage. In my homepage in the top right, it might say cart or it might say shop, but I'm not put, and I might have, I might even have like the featured products. However, that page does not have cart or checkout. The actual page is activated. Therefore, I don't need WooCommerce to be activated on the homepage. I hope this is making sense. So I could still have featured image. I could still have products showing. I don't need to have WooCommerce activated full blown on my homepage. The same also goes with, say, um, if I've got like a directory website, maybe I the search bar and everything isn't until you go to the search page. Maybe I've got like Elemental Custom Skin. It's not until you actually get to a certain page that you see that. So Asset Cleanup, I only ever use the option where you, you're you allowed to go page by page or just do the home page where I can say, right, do not load WooCommerce on the home page. There's no need for it. Do not load Elemental Custom Skin on the home page. There's no need for it, okay? I'm not stopping it all across the whole website, just on the pages it's not needed. That can make a big impact on your page speed score. 
And I would say to you that if you're very careful on your scoring and you removed your Google fonts, you've loaded custom fonts, you've done your WebP conversion for your images and you're very, very careful, but something is, you know, you're still getting told, you know, that WooCommerce is affecting your page speed on your homepage, most likely you just need to use Asset Cleanup to remove it and just double check your page is still working fine and you'll be okay. Um, now, there are hundreds of thousands of other plugins out there, okay? There's other page builders, there's other optimization tools. Like I said, image optimization, I don't use them anymore, but you could do. And there's lots of other things you could do. Believe me, you know, uh, appointment bookings, for instance, okay? Loads and loads of websites you could use. However, there's a reason I haven't touched on appointments in here. There is a plugin called Appointment Hour Booking, really good. It's free. You pay a premium if you want some extra stuff, but it's super good. There's stuff like um, uh, um, Amelia and other things like that. Now, I would say that the reason I haven't put them down is because they are very specific to what you're trying to achieve. A bit like hotel booking websites as well. There are so many plugins. You know, there's Motopress, that's a good one. There's WP Hotelier, that's a good one. There's WP Booking System, that is also a good one but they very much depend on what are you trying to achieve. And here is my big tip for you right now, okay? If you're after a plugin to satisfy a need, go to Google and search WordPress plugin and type what you want. Maybe it's hotel booking. Maybe it's some um, appointment booking. Maybe it's calendar. Maybe it's whatever you want, okay? And do a search and then go to filter and restrict your search to be the latest month because I'm pretty sure in the latest month there'll be an updated post or a review of 10 of the latest whatever plugins or 10 of the best plugins out there for that area. What you don't want to do is start searching for plugins or a review that someone wrote four or five years ago. You want to know about what's current now and believe me when you do that you'll get told about 10 hotel booking um, plugins You'll get a quick summary of what they do and what they don't do. Is it free? Do you pay? What do you get for free? What do you have to pay for? All of that. It helps your decision making. So yes, I know I haven't put like hotel booking systems on here or appointments or stuff like that. Well, that's because they are very niche and I don't want to say, well, hey, go and use this because it's probably not going to satisfy you. But I can honestly tell you everything I've put in essentials and what I've put here like the My Listing, if you definitely needed a directory website, these will work for you. Um, if there are any other plugins that you like to use, maybe I overlooked some, please put them in the comments. I'd love to know about them. If you wanna let other people know about what I've said, go ahead, you're allowed to embed, you're allowed to share this post, this video, whatever you wanna do with it, I don't mind. But most of all, I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. But remember, don't overload your website, okay? I, I keep. I say this a lot, I've seen websites with 40 plugins and I get told, yeah, but we needed that to achieve what we wanted to do. And I look at the plugins and go, I don't think you did. You've got four plugins that do exactly the same thing. You obviously had a problem and you're trying to fudge and, and fill up the gaps and holes with all of them. You could have just done it with one plugin, for instance, or in fact, you got Elemental Pro. So why have you still got the Elemental Header Footer Builder plugin? Why have you got that? There's no need for it, you know, because um, you could already do that in Elemental Pro, you know. So have a think about what you're doing and try to restrict the amount of plugins you have to A, watch out for plugin incompatibility, when plugins update, when, Ele when Elemental and Elemental Pro update, they do let other companies and developers know. However, you're not guaranteed that they will sort out their plugins in time. And everyone then blames Elementor. Well, no, that's not how it works. It's not, they don't have to check that their plugin works with third parties. It's actually the other way around. So the more plugins you have, the more risk is attached. So only work with what you really, really need. Hey, I said it, I'll say it again. Like, subscribe, share and follow. <laughs> I'll keep seeing you again. Take care. Thank <laughs> you.